Hello Year 4 and welcome to Friday's lesson. Today we're going to be making a diorama. A diorama is like a sort of stage set or a sort of a scene from something made in a box. Now I've just used a box that I had something delivered in but you could use a cereal box or a shoe box or anything you like. Now we're making an underwater scene, so like an ocean scene. So you can see if I scroll in, if I zoom in, I've cut the box and I've left the, the top underneath so I can put more stuff in. And I've covered the inside of the box with blue paper like the sea. Now you could colour it, you could paint it, you could do it however you would like. Um, as long as it looks like the un under the sea. You could even draw up on the background. I haven't. I haven't had enough time. But you could draw fishes on the background and bubbles and all sorts. And you could shade it so it could be darker or lighter at the top or the bottom, however you want. And what I've done, I have made a scene in there. I've used some old ice cream boxes. If I turn this round, it's just a piece of cardboard that some ice creams came in. And I've drawn a shark on there and I've got my octopus. And back here, if I go at the back, there's my little seahorse. And what I've done is I've taped a bit of cotton on them, but you can use some string or some fishing line or whatever you've got. And I've cut a hole in the top and I've poked it through and I've just stuck it with a little bit of sellotape. OK, I've also decided to make something going over the top. So I've got my dolphin over the top and I've stuck him to a little stick and I've cut a hole. And if I move him along, I've cut a little slice so he can go along. He's not moving very easily, but that was the idea. So he looks like he's jumping out the water. You could probably do this much better than me. I have just looked on um, Google to see how to draw different sea animals. And I found lots of videos showing me how to draw them to make them as good as I can. So that's what I've done for those. And I've literally just cut holes and slices in the top. Now down here, I've tried to make it look as realistic as possible. And I got some stones out of the garden to make it look like the rocks. Now I had some sand for something I was doing before. So I've sprinkled that on the bottom. And I've also cut some little bits off plants to make um, seaweed and coral. And I've stuck those in using just a little bit of blue tack in the bottom. Now these have already gone a bit floppy. I made this about an hour ago. Oh look, you can see my fab ice creams on the back of the um, octopus. But I made this about an hour ago and already they've gone a bit floppy. So I think that's the last thing you need to put in. And I had some seashells from when I went on holiday. Oh look, there's my starfish at the front. And over here is Mr. Crab. And I found some um, some beads that looked a little bit like coral. So I thought I'd pop those in as well. So you can see I've made quite an interesting picture, a 3D picture, using all the different things that I could find. Now, your challenge is to make your own using whatever you've got at home and seeing how many different sea creatures you can put into your scene. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you can create this should be a really fun activity and you can get everybody involved helping you make it just to make it as brilliant as possible. Good luck, guys. Have fun.